I am thy father's spirit, doomed for a certain term to walk the night, and for the day confined to fast in fires, till the foul crimes done in my days of nature are burnt and purged away, but that I am forbid to tell the secrets of my prison house. I could a tale unfold whose lightest word would harrow up thy soul, freeze thy young blood, make thy two eyes like stars start from their spheres, thy knotted and combined locks to part, and each particular hair to stand on end like quills upon the frightful porcupine. But this eternal blazon must not be to ears of flesh and blood. List, list, O oh, list! If ever thou didst thy dear father love, revenge his foul and most unnatural murder. Murder most foul, as is in the best it is, but this most foul, strange and unnatural. I find thee apt. And duller shouldst thou be than the fat weed that rots itself on the ease of the leather wharf. Wouldst thou not stir in this now hamlet here? Tis given out that sleeping in my orchard a serpent stung me so the whole ear of Denmark is by a forged process of my death rankly abused. But no, thou noble youth the serpent that did sting thy father's life now wears his crown i that incestuous that adulterate beast with witchcraft of his wit with traitorous gifts o wicked wit and gifts that have the power so to seduce one to his shameful lust the will of my most seeming virtuous queen Oh, Hamlet, what a falling off was there. From me, whose love was of that dignity that it went hand in hand, even with the vow I made to her in marriage, and to decline upon a wretch whose natural gifts were poor to those of mine. But virtue, as it never will be moved, though lewdness caught it in the shape of heaven, so lust though to a radiant angel linked will sate itself in a celestial bed and prey on garbage but soft methinks i sent thee morning air brief let me be sleeping within mine orchard my custom always of the afternoon upon my secure hour thy uncle stole with juice of a cursed hebona in a vial and in the porches of my ears did pour the leprous distilment whose effect hold such an enmity with the blood of man that swift as quicksilver it courses through the natural gates and alleys of the body and with a sudden vigour it doth posset and curd like eager droppings into milk the thin and wholesome blood so did it mine and a most instant tetter barked about most laser-like with vile and loathsome crust all my smooth body thus was i sleeping by a brother's hand of life, of crown, of queen, at once dispatched, cut off even in the blossoms of my sin, unhouseled, disappointed, unannulled, no reckoning made, but sent to my account with all my imperfections on my head. If thou hast nature in thee, bear it not, but howsoever thou pursuest this act, Taint not thy mind, nor let thy soul contrive against thy mother, or to leave her to heaven, and to those thorns that in her bosom lodge to prick and sting her. Fare thee well at once. The glow-worm shows the matin to be near, and gins to pale his uneffectual fire. Adieu, adieu, adieu. Remember, remember me. me.